Good morning children. I hope you all are good and enjoying your vacations. But now we will be utilizing these vacation with a new concept of learning from home which Balbhavan school has initiated. So today we will be starting with class 4th chapter 1 of science. Food are basic needs. So you need to be get ready with your notebook, textbook and pencil box. So the topics which we will be covering today are importance of food, sources of food, ingredients, food groups and some assignment question will be provided at the end of the tutorial which you need to copy down in your science notebook. Children when we talk about food the first thing which comes in our mind is that why do we need food. So food gives us energy, food helps us grow. And food protects us from diseases. So energy which we get from food is used in our daily activities like jumping, running, playing, studying and so on. Moreover, food also helps us in our growth and development. Food also protects us in fighting with infections and diseases and keep us healthy. So these are some of the reasons why do we need food. Moving on to our next topic that is the sources of food. Children, if somebody asks you what, where do we get food from? So the probable answer you will give is plants and animals. There are n number of items which we get from plants and that are eaten as foods. Some of them you can see on the screen like fruits, vegetables, spices, nuts and there are many more like sugar also obtained from plants, oils also we get from plants. So there are many things which are eaten as food and which are obtained from plants. Not only plants, animals are also a good source of food. Animals provide us food in the form of milk, honey, egg, meat. So what we can say that there are two basic sources of food, plants and animals. Plants also give us some food items and animals also provide us some food items. Now children as you have seen that there is a great variety in the food items. If I ask you what is your favorite food item or which is your favorite dish, the answer may vary. Some of you may say that it's cake. Some of you may say that I like biryani. Or some of you may say that I like paneer. So when all these food items are cooked, are the same materials added to cook them? No. We use different materials, different substances to cook or to prepare any food item. So all these substances which are added to prepare any food item are known as ingredients. What are they known as? Ingredient. For example, when we cook boiled rice, we add water, raw rice, salt and some people add oil also. So all these substances are known as the ingredients of boiled rice. So next time you can ask your mama that what ingredients she is using to cook your favorite halwa. Moving on to the next topic, food groups. Children, as there is a great variety in the food items, for our better understanding, we have divided or classified the food into three different categories. Some food item gives us energy, provides us energy. So we call them as energy giving food. Some food item helps us in growth and body muscles and building our muscles. So they are known as bodybuilding foods. Some food item helps in protection and fighting with germs and diseases. So they are known as protective foods. So food groups or food can be divided into three groups. Energy giving foods, bodybuilding foods and protective foods foods about which you will be studying in detail in your next tutorial. So now after the end of this tutorial you have to go through the page number one and two of your science book. You have to visit these YouTube links 
to see some kind of videos for your better understanding and you have to note down these questions and write their answers in your science notebook in a neat handwriting as these notebooks will be checked once you return back to school and you will be provided marks for the same. So stay safe, stay protected and enjoy your learning.